Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the 17th part in this series where we are building a personal dashboard app using Angular. In this video, we're going to be adding a Angular animation to the to-do item uh, so that it will actually uh, transition out when it leaves the UI so that we can get this nice animation when the user deletes to-dos. All right then, let's get started. Okay, so let's go back to the application code and uh, let's go to um, the to-dos component template and let's actually just clean up our workspace. We won't need the to-do item um, files anymore, so let's get rid of that, and let's close that, and uh, okay, all right, so let's just have these three here. All right, so um, what we want to do is we want to go and add an animation to uh, the to-do item, right? And uh, we want to animate it when it leaves the UI. So let's go um, here. All right, cool. So um, let's go here and uh, let's add and let's do at uh, to do item anim. OK, so um, that is the trigger name. So um, let's just copy this, save this and go to the to do's component uh, component class. And let's go here and let's add an animations array. Animations. All right. And inside here, let's set up the trigger and let's paste in the trigger name that was here. All right, let's uh, go here and pass in an array of animation metadata. Okay, and um, okay, and uh, we want to actually uh, transition um, on leave, right? So let's do transition and let's use colon leave. Okay, so um, uh, we can put an array here and uh, we can now do um, animate and let's say 1000 and let's put in the style that we want to animate to and um, let's do um, opacity zero okay so it fades out all right let's save that and let's go back to the application and let's try and delete this one okay and it didn't work all right, so that didn't work. Okay, so let's go back to the code here. And um, the reason for that is because we have the animation on the app to do item component tag. And by default, the component tags are display inline, right? So um, let's go and go to the style sheet here. And we can simply just select the app to do item and set display to block. Okay, let's save that now and go back to the application. Okay, and let's go and try and delete this. And there we go. So now it actually fades out. Cool. Um, one quick thing I want to do as well, though, is um, we have the margin bottom um, inside the to do item style sheet. So to do item uh, dot component dot CSS. Uh, if we go up here, we see that we have um, margin bottom 15 pixels. So um, we could keep this here or we could move this. So I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to save that, close this, and go back here and put it here. Okay, let's save this and go back to the application. And there we go. So we still have the same spacing, but now we have the margin on the component tag itself. Okay, cool. All right, so now let's try and delete this. And there we go. Cool. So it is fading out, but we um, have this jump that happens at the end because um, because it isn't actually animating the height. So what we could do is we could go back and um, close this and go to the uh, component class and we could go here and we could actually um, tell angle animations to animate the height as well. So we could do height zero. Okay, let's save this and go back to the application. And let's try this now. Cool. All right. So that's a lot better. It's actually uh, um, animating the height. However, there is a bit of a jump at the end. And the reason for that is because we are only animating the height property here, but we also have the margin bottom. And um, and that is actually being removed straight away as it's not being animated. So what we could do is we could actually add margin bottom here and set this to zero. All right, so if we save this and go back to the application, let's now see if this will work. Let's go here and delete it. And there we go, cool. All right, so that's really nice. Um, let's actually now speed it up a little bit. So let's do 200 maybe, save that, go back to the application. And let's try that. 
Cool. All right, let's try and create a few here. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's go here and, and delete two. Nice. Cool. All right, so that's pretty nice. Cool. All right, so the next thing we can do is we can go and work on the edit to do UI. All right, so if we go here and we create a new to do, a new to do, and we go here and click on the uh, edit button, then we are sent to the edit to do component. Um, but we actually have to create the UI for that and uh, implement the edit to do functionality. All right, then, so let's go and do that next.